Well, I've been in the circus for 92 years, but the show's been going for 160 years. And what happened is I got this phone call and there's very Australian voice and say, G'day mate, you know, will you paint our great grandfather and all that. And I thought it was somebody pulling my leg because my friends ring me up and do this. And, uh, and then he said, oh, my name's Merv Ashton. And I went, are you Merv Ashton from Ashton Circus? And, uh, and he went, yeah. Uh, this is my dad's uh, birthday book for his 92nd birthday. So when he came and I took one look at Doug, I went, hmm. And I started to mull it over in my head and then the muse got me and three o'clock in the morning I'm lying wide awake and I'm seeing a painting in my head. I just spent uh, weeks and weeks of not sleeping and full of ideas and I started to sketch and plan it. And then I got the great idea, I, I rang him up and said, have you got any of the original canvas? And it seemed that they had some leftover canvas from the last canvas big top, which is what that's painted on. Dad's job was to roll up his swag, jump on Mother the Elephant, and then ride it to the next town. This is not a commission, by the way. I paint this because I want to paint it. But I've always wanted to paint a horse. And I'm always trying to get someone to commission me to paint a horse or find it, and no one's ever done it. And then Merv said, oh, do you mind if we put one of the horses in? And I went, yay! And, uh, and when I went there, they dressed him up. They washed him, they dressed him up, put him in costume. As soon as I went there, Doug grabbed hold of the whip and he just did his thing, he bowed. Oh, it's just beautiful to watch, beautiful. And the horse uh, took probably a lot long, it actually did take a lot longer than painting Doug. And, and I was worried that the horse would take over because it's such a powerful image. But thank goodness Doug takes over because he's, he's just got, hopefully I want to, I'm trying to express the joy he has for what he, what he is, you know. I got no regrets about the circus. And the family's very good. Fantastic they are, very good. Little Ricky now, he's five, and he's been in the ring for working in the show as a clown until she does a very good trapeze. I think it's good for him. It's good, clean fun. And in a circus, there's no smut or filth. It's good, hard, well, hard work, I think. But it's a good, very good life. What the Archibald does for me, I don't know what it does for other artists, but it enables me to go somewhere else. And, and I always look at it as a, a vehicle or a place in which I can put, explore and research and put my research line in. So I see in the future, it could be 100 years time, might be 10 years time, might be next year, that a lot of people will see this painting and a lot of school kids will see it. And I want them to look at it, I want them to smell that world that I knew, that Doug was a part of. And then it made me cry, it was really, really good. It is very good. It's a fantastic painting, isn't it? I think so.